My name is Jean de Bale, one of the Order of the Knights Templar. In this bitter winter of 1198, it has been eight years since I departed from France, leaving behind my land, my castle, and more importantly, my family. I often wonder what possessed me to follow Richard the Lionheart to this place. In those days, he was a charismatic and enthusiastic young king. I suppose, like many others, that I was moved by his conception of the Holy Land and the promise of unconditional redemption. But the Holy Land didn't look much like the young king's vision. And the redemption we were guaranteed always felt just out of reach. However, even if this crusade didn't keep its promises, I did manage to catch a glimpse of what I sought. Liberation. Liberation for me, and my bloodline. John, it won't be long before overrun. Too many have already breached the Croc's fortifications. I warned them, Martin. This is a mighty fortress, but it's hardly impenetrable. Today the sons of Saladin shall succeed, where their fathers failed for many years. Nevertheless, this fortress is of little importance. Do you have it with you? Why else would I have sought you out amidst this havoc? Here, take it. I know it will find greater purpose in your hands than in mine. I will do my best to lead these soldiers until there are none to lead. You must continue our quest. Leave at once. Martin. You know I cannot leave you behind. Our code forbids it. Moreover, you need to see this through, just as much as I do. United, we cannot fail. Don't be a fool, Jean. It is my duty and mine alone to stay and command the men. As for you, I know you will succeed in our mission. You honor your tunic more than any Templar. Take the underpass to the southeast. Saladin's men have not attacked that wall yet. It shouldn't be difficult for one man to escape. Thank you, Martin. I will find salvation for us both, as well as my son. If your son inherited half the qualities of his father, he's beyond any doubt worthy of salvation. Go with God, old friend. Farewell. No, Martin. We shall meet again. In France. As I am not yet redeemed. The flames of hell shall bless my blade!
I take us now to where our story begins. Thousands of miles away, in the Kingdom of France, my family awaits my return. Or should I say, what's left of my family. When I departed for Jerusalem, my brother, cursed be his name, laid false claim to my lands and castle. The only treasure he could not steal was my son, Dens. If he walks proudly, it is because he bears the colors and the cross of the Knights Templar. This tunic is to him all that is left of me. My heirloom, in a way. On this February evening in the year 1199, my quest remains unfinished. As for Dens, his is about to begin. What happened here, gentle sir? Why must God always persecute the weak? That has nothing to do with God, old man. Who are these men? The devil's fiends. That's... who? But as fate would have it, there is another hero who would be impossible to forget. His name is Esteban Noviembre, a Spaniard twice my son's age. He's a clever, mostly dependable man, but at the moment, how his destiny will intertwine with my son's is the furthest thing from his mind. He also has a particular gift, both getting into and out of trouble. Ah, Esteban! Tracking you these last three days has finally paid off! How far did you think you'd get carrying our share of the loot? You lawless bastard! You better still have it! Right you are, hombre. I am lawless. And your share weighs uncomfortably in my pockets. I am concerned. Will I be able to carry what's left in your purses? Unfortunately, my son has always been equally as gifted at finding trouble. The village is empty, Lord de Mafra. <laughs> Hardly worth drawing our blade. Excellent, Bardois. And the church? Unspoiled. It's just over that way, my lord. Well, what do we have here? A Templar? Did you get lost on your way to the Crusade, noble boy? Templars? Ha! Huh. They're priests with pretty tunics. I bet he wields that sword no better than a farmer. Still think Templars are priests and farmers? Consider this training for the Crusades. This Templar's blade is mightier than five of yours. Denz is a talented swordsman who has never let fear best him in a fight. Perhaps that stems from the burden he bears. The Templar's curse. It is a terrible power that in the coming days will shape his future. Dens de Bell, I have come to take you. You again? Will you never leave me in peace? Be gone, Wraith! Damned one, I will have you follow me to hell. Come closer, and we'll see. 
¡Fantasmas! ¡Veo fantasmas! I am nothing as simple as a phantom. You have spilled blood. It is time to atone for your sins. And I have come to collect. You're... You're just a little man. It's going to stop. Just like the other times. I will need to find somewhere to come to my senses. Not now. It is not my time yet. If I take lives, I do so for justice. <laughs> To struggle is futile. I am death. I am everywhere. I am always. When I am sent to claim a soul in his name, I take it. None escape. Unfortunately for you, I know where my soul will be out of reach. I told you already. My time hasn't come yet. This is hallowed ground, a threshold you cannot cross. You will not take me this day, O oh Death. I told you, I am everywhere. I am always. Time matters not. One day, you won't escape me. I need only one moment to claim your soul. It's not my time. At the very least, I have a safe place to spend the night. It's only a nightmare. Just a nightmare. What a realistic nightmare. But, did I really fall asleep in church? My brother's ill deeds forced my son from his home into the life of a wanderer. He offered his blade to whomever could provide enough coin for him to eke out a meager living. From feud to skirmish, from brawl to duel, he found himself in the service of Boniface de Montferrat. In the summer of 1199, this lord's soldiers laid siege to the castle of Byron, where an old friend dwelt. Baudouin de Flat, commander of Boniface's army. Their collusion is a dangerous one, and my son has the misfortune of serving under his command. We've tarried beneath the walls of these cowards for thirty days. But no more! Today I want to see Martin Dalgais on his knees! I want his doors raised, his coffers looted, and his men slaughtered! Mercenaries! Time to earn your pay, dogs. 
On this night, you will either feast until dawn, or the crows and worms will feast on your rotting carcasses! It matters little to me. This is the final hour! My lord, all of our assaults have failed! It's the portcullis! It's, it's too strong, even for the ram! We have to set it ablaze first or damage it somehow! Aye, my lord. They rain arrows on us like a pissing cow! We can't get close enough! Enough of your whimpering. These mandalets will shield you from the arrows. Get close enough, then use the saltpeter badge to burn down the portcullis. The battering ram can finish the job, got it? Why do we even risk our arses to destroy a portcullis when we could just use the trebuchets to destroy the walls, huh? Because Boniface de Montferrat, the man funding your miserable lives, wants the castle unscathed. And I intend to offer it to him that way. Now go! You two, get on the first mantlet. You two there, on the second! Spaniard! You with the bail on the third! The bail? Such a pretty name for a mercenary. Can he even lift a sword? That he can. As for his name... Perhaps he fashions himself a hero. But enough talk. Six men on the battering ram. You'll follow from behind the matlets. Now go! Victory or death! Listen close, Spaniard. We only push between arrow volleys. As soon as we see arrows, we stop and pray that nothing penetrates this maggot wood. Got it? Hey, hero boy. I don't feel like dying any more than you do. The men were given orders to, uh, relieve themselves on the mantlets before we used them. <laughs> Cursed Franceses! Do you really win wars with stupid orders like that? You'll be glad for it soon enough. The wet hides protect the wood from flaming arrows. You don't want to end up roasted like a heretic on a stake, do you? Now's our chance. Let's go! Ha ha ha! They think they can kill Esteban Noviembre! A mistake! They will soon regret! You talk too much, Spaniard. You should save your strength. Let's move, Spaniard. Relax, hombre. Stick with me. No harm will come to you. Oh, is that so? I didn't tell you. I was born under a lucky star. A lucky star? <laughs> I'll believe it when it comes down and wields my sword for me. Take cover! We're still alive. Let's go, hombre. I've heard the flag called you the bail. You a knight? Have I you? Just call me Dennis. Thrill of adventure, of course. <laughs> You're no different, are you? Take cover! We're almost there. Don't give up on me now, Spaniard. Just a second, hombre. Maybe we can pick off some of these archers. Don't stay out there too long. You'll make an easy target. Shoot 
Look, Dance! Defend yourself! Good. That'll make them think twice about standing on those ramparts. We can throw the bags from here. Cover me. I think we're clear. Throw them before any more of them come. to see how lucky you really are. your land you call your Here own we are men let's clean this place out
she will run with your blood! This is free. You know how to wield a blade. Now, let's see if you can wield fire half as well. Well, yours, his nightmare. Not again. The Spaniard might be surprised. To me, your powers are commonplace. Then you are damned as well. Two bearers of the curse. But it makes no difference. I will not allow you to claim what I've spent my life to protect. Am I still in a nightmare? Or did you really just save my life? It is a nightmare, but it's more real than you might think. Stand up and fight if you want to live. You got it, Caballero. I'll fight with you. I owed you my life, but you owe me an explanation. I will answer all of your questions later. But right now, let us drive this demon back together. This will be your grave. I... 
never imagined Boniface would send a bearer of the curse. You seem to have mastered its effects very well. Who are you, mercenary? I am no mercenary. In my veins flows the blood of the Templars. The blood of the De Bale family. De Bale, you say? Then you are the son of Jean de Bale. Huh? I understand now why your father had so much faith in you. What? You know of my father? You must tell me! Martin, it's been a long time. Boniface de Montferrat. When I heard that Barois was assaulting my castle, I knew at once that he worked in your shadow. You are relieved of your service, mercenaries. Barois, take them to the encampment and pay them generously. The battle is won. My lord, this man... I have spoken. Your job here is done. What? What do you mean? Leave us before the coffers are emptied and you miss out on your share. Let's go, Esteban. My old friend, dear old Martin. I know you've hidden the relic somewhere in this castle, but you would sooner die than put it into my hands, would you not? I will make sure that is exactly what happens. You fool. Do you think I'm stupid enough to have kept it here? I gave it to a man who deserved it. More than I. But I have seen the sun shine greater than even that night. Boniface, you imbecile! Sir. Enough of your blasted riddles. Who is the son you speak of? Tell me, Martin. Your hatred of the world will bring you to your dumb mind. You'll talk, or you'll die. De Bale. Where is the young De Bale? You gave him notice, my lord. He took his gold and left with that Spanish friend of his. What? Did he say anything about where he was going? Be at ease, sire. Benz de Bell is going to the Chateau de Creed to take part in the jousting tournament. It seems he wants to enlist in the forthcoming crusade. The Chateau de Creed. So, the young de Bale seeks his father, who never returned from Jerusalem, and the crusade is his shot in the dark. He must know where to look. That is... excellent. Wait! Are you sure you want to do this? The Crusade is the only hope I have of finding my father. If I want to enlist, this tournament is my best option. So you're going to fight? All to make the other Caballeros notice you? Yes, but it is a jousting tournament, and I will have to declare my knighthood to enter. Uh, aren't you going to need a squire? Every knight worth his salt has one. Esteban, I've enjoyed our camaraderie, but our journey together ends here. 
Good luck. Ah. Hear ye, hear ye, O oh gentle ladies, O oh noble sires. Hear ye, kind lords and valiant warriors. The duels have been concluded. Today begins the two-on-two -two games. Registration is now ah, open. See? That's destiny. Yes, it seems destiny has a sense of humor. But has destiny brought me the squire I need? Oh, come on. My blades thought they had already proven their worth. And you will not find a better sparring partner, hombre. I am listening, young lord. I am Denz de Bale, son of Jean de Bale. I wish to enlist in the tournament. Very well, my lord. Uh, who shall be your companion of arms? This man. His name is Esteban Noviembre. Uh, so be it. So Denz de Bale and Esteban Noviembre have been enrolled in the tournament. May success and fortune be upon you. Tell me, Secretary, is it true that the Lord of Villa Hardois is recruiting for the Crusade? At the behest of His Holiness Pope Innocent III, Fouque de Neuilly himself has come to preach the Crusade's want of able men. And, undoubtedly, young lord, uh, this tournament in particular is the occasion to draw the eyes of venerable benefactors to your blade. Excellent. Thank you. So, partners, once again? Uh, one last thing, my lord. Uh, if you hope to succeed, you may want to take a moment before the tournament begins to practice with the other participants. It's possible you'll find an occasion to learn new moves that way. Uh, you and your companion shall be called forth when your turn comes. Who's next? Are there no other valiant knights willing to do battle? Well, let's review the basics. And when your adversaries are parrying all your blows, you can use a guard break to breach their defenses. A guard breaker, eh? Try it on your opponent. You'll see. A word of caution, Mr. If you use a guard break on an enemy that does not parry it, no trouble avoiding your attack. Now begins the melee trials. Here enter the Lord Denz de Bale and his companion of arms, Esteban Noviembre. Their adversaries will be the Lords Antonius de Fougère and Caribert de Montségur. Well, look up there, Esteban, in the box. That is Geoffroy de Ville Hardois. He chooses who goes and who stays. I must shine if I want to get recruited. I've got a bad feeling about this crusade thing on me. But I have a debt to repay. I'll help you shine. Come on! Let's review another technique, the deflection counter. Deflection what? Never heard of it. You can deflect the attacks of your enemies in order to gain the advantage of a counter strike. Once your opponent has lost his balance, you have a small window of time to strike. It may even be a lethal blow. Oh really? Let's try it. Trials continue! 
continue. Here are the combatants. Here are the last round's winners, the Lord Dens de Bale and his companion of arms, Esteban Noviembre. And to face them, please welcome the Lord Trasamund de Casanova and his faithful companion of arms, Théodéric de Tomp. We have to win. Counting on you. Have no fear. If the guard break allows you to penetrate your opponent's defenses, you should know that your enemies will not hesitate to use it again. They wouldn't dare. Prepare to dodge your adversary's guard break. The move is dangerous, Esteban. If you are hit with a guard break, you will be momentarily stunned. Well then, they better kill me fast if that happens. Because as soon as I come to, there will be a... Let the third round of the Melee Trials begin! Here are the two-time winners, Lord Dens de Bale and his faithful companion, Esteban Noviembre. And to cross blades with them, Lord Alaric de Puyver and his companion, Lord Agitus de Rochebaron. Weapons can't withstand continuous combat. After a while, they break. Really? Do you think so? Yes. Ah, so much think for that when weapon. a weapon is broken, the damage it inflicts is much weaker. More importantly, some moves become impossible to perform. So be careful. Ay, ay, ay. I wouldn't want us to lose the tournament because of a broken sword. A beautiful weapon. It shines. There's only one fight left, Esteban. Victory is at hand. It's as if the laurels were already on your ears, hombre! Let the fourth and final round of the Melee Trials begin! Mira! It's him! Here he comes! Already ordained as a High Baron of the Holy Crusade, Baudouin de Flandre and his companion, Ergo de Landreville! Dens, any suggestions? Yes, let's win. High stroke of misfortune. It seems our champions, the size the Bale and Noviembre, have drawn the broken weapons.
never. This isn't over yet. I don't like these odds. No, Esteban. Consider this an opportunity to show them what we're made of. Defeat me! A surprise! Uh, not this again! You're going to make it, Esteban. Victory is ours! So this is how you overcame their gaze. You, too, belong to the masquerade! Is worthy. Go, treat with him, and offer him what he wants. His chance to join our army. As you wish, my lord. Will we also need his companion? The old Spaniard? Yes, but I can't recall his name. September, I think. Or December. A month in the year. Good to bail. Good. Esteban, I know I've asked you to help me earn my place in the Crusader army, and I thank you for that. Help me understand, amigo. What is this curse? Why do I see the burnt men and the flaming skeletons? Don't worry. We will free ourselves from the curse. We will find a way. Lord de Bale? Sire Noviembre? Ah, Sire. I like the way that sounds. How can we be of service? The Lord Geoffroy de Villehardois, master of this castle, wishes to inform you, Sires, that you are invited to join the ranks of the very saintly army that departs for Jerusalem tomorrow. You are also invited to his encampment outside town, from where the army shall depart. Thank you. Where is that encampment?
So, Dens, you're serious about this Crusader thing, eh? Yes. The Crusade is the only hope I have to set things right. Help me understand, amigo. Are you trying to strike it rich? Maybe come home with an exotic wife or two? Nothing so trivial. It's my father. He never came home from Jerusalem. Ah. Then your father fought in the Third Crusade. Yes. He was a skilled warrior. I was only a boy when he left to go fight under the Lionheart King's standard. In his absence... Well... My uncle, he... Yes? He destroyed my family. He took everything we had. Our home, our land. Only my father can set things right. And I must find him. Wait, wait, caballero. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that everything we've done until now has been because you believe that one old man will come back from a crusade, or quite possibly the grave, to single-handedly reclaim an entire castle? Are you mad, or just an idiota? My father is the rightful heir. He can make my uncle relinquish what was not his to take. Madre de Dios, help me. He's lost it. Let's get one thing straight, Spaniard. I don't care what you think. And I'm going to find my father. No matter what it takes. And you plan to do that? All while we're being hunted by La Muerte himself. That was an unforeseen complication. You're going to need me in the coming days. I think maybe I should accompany you. I don't know if that's such... There they are! Fools! Nobody humiliates Baudouin de Flandre and lives! You'll pay for your offense. In blood! The nation make die your by our hands and this <laughs> Yes, the Flander must think himself quite the hero. Take cover! 